the food fights, and in this video, you and I are gonna be trying these two brands of zero calorie cola. On the left at two liters is Diet Coke, and on the right, also at two liters, is Coca-Cola, zero sugar, and zero calorie cola. Since I am a Diet Coke drinker, many of you wanted me to compare the Diet Coke to the Coca-Cola Zero, and that's just what we're gonna do right now. What can I say? I do love Diet Coke, and I've been drinking this for a while, and no, I have never had the Coca-Cola Zero, so I am looking forward to this. I don't know which way this is gonna go. I may have a new favorite, I don't know, but then again, I may just stick to the tried and true for me. But for all I know, these two may taste very similar, but I highly doubt it. I gotta be honest, I do like the taste of Diet Coke better than regular Coke, at least the last time I tried it. So if this tastes anything like regular Coke, I don't know, I may, I may not like it as well as the Diet Coke, but that's what we're gonna find out. In these videos, I rank the products on different criteria, taste usually being the most important, but also equally as important is the value. But of course, these both being a Coca-Cola product, the value is identical. Because for the Diet Coke, I paid $1.89 for this bottle, and that works out to 2.8 cents an ounce. I also paid $1.89 for this Coca-Cola Zero, and that also works out to 2.8 cents an ounce. So for many people, the ingredients are also very important. So let's look at the Diet Coke and see what's in this. Carbonated water, the main ingredient, and of course the most important ingredient is the caffeine. What can I say, I'm addicted. Well, let's see what's in the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Obviously the main ingredient is also gonna be carbonated water. It looks like the same kind of stuff. I am really surprised by this, and I'm even more anxious to try this. What's going on here? Are they really just putting the same liquid in two different looking bottles? That can't be the case, can it? Now I'm really intrigued to try this. I don't know what to expect here. So let's drag out our fancy drinking glasses to try our sodas. So let's start off with the Diet Coke. So let's listen to how much carbonation is in here. It's not like a fair amount, nothing over the top, and it's not shooting out. Where's a Mentos when you need it, right? Yeah, that smells good. So let's pour some of that out in our fancy drinking glass. And it's foaming up quite nicely there. That looks really nice, doesn't it? And I'm gonna go ahead and top this off. There we go. All right, let's open up the Coke Zero Calorie. And it actually sounded like it had a bit more pressure in there. So let's pour out the Coke Zero Sugar, I guess it's called. Coke, a cola, Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. And that actually seems like it has a bit more carbonation to it. That's kind of nice to see. Oh yeah, and I can hear that one fizzing up really nicely. So these are both ice cold. These both came out of the refrigerator. They've been in there for several days and they're very nice and cold. So I know that warm soda, warm pop can really affect the flavor, but these are really nice and cold and I can't tell a difference at all, but definitely, look at that. The Coca-Cola Zero Sugar certainly has more carbonation to it. That is really bubbling up quite nice. Color-wise, I can't tell any difference at all. So this is really gonna come down to how these two products taste. And obviously the Diet Coke is on the left and the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar is on the right. So let's try these and man, I'm looking forward to this because I'm really thirsty because I had some crackers earlier. So let's take both of these and give ourselves a little clink of the glass, isn't that nice? Let's toast to my favorite as of now, the Diet Coke. Oh my gosh, that's like heaven in a glass right there. That's so good, I'm gonna have to have a little bit more. Oh, that is really good. For you Diet Coke drinkers, you know what I'm talking about. That is really good. All right, here we go. This is the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. So is this gonna rank a zero in my book? I don't know, but I am curious to see how this is gonna taste. According to the ingredients, I can't imagine any difference whatsoever. Here we go with the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Certainly a huge difference. I'm gonna take one more drink of this. Wow, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised, that's quite good. And it's quite different from the Diet Coke. And those of you who've tried both of these, and those of you who drink this and enjoy this, you know exactly what I'm talking about here too, don't you? While we do have a winner here, boy, do we have a winner. This was really interesting. You know what, I'm gonna have to try this one more time, so here we go with the Diet Coke. Hmm, that's nice. Okay, one more time with the Coca-Cola Zero. Okay, okay, yes we do. Wow, 
This is hard. I got to tell you, I was ready just to jump on the old winter bandwagon here, and I'm not sure. This was a tough one. As with many times, when we have products that are very similar, it really comes down to personal preference, and this is no difference. So it really depends on what you like. So I'm going to try to describe these the best way that I can. The Diet Coke, it has a nice taste. It's not really overly sweet. It does have a kind of a funky sweet, and it's certainly an acquired taste. And if you've been drinking this for a while, you know how much you like the Diet Coke. Or maybe then again, you don't like the Diet Coke. But the Coca-Cola Zero actually tastes a bit sweeter, and it does taste more like Coca-Cola. And I have to say, it tastes a whole lot like Coca-Cola, but with zero sugar and zero calories. And my gosh, these were both really good, but really it's going to come down to personal preference. And for me in this video, the winner is, I hate to do this, but it's only because I've been drinking it for a long time, it's the Diet Coke.